everyone, it's Chrissy from firstdayofhome.com. Today I'm sharing hot cocoa bar ideas that are fun and budget friendly. And I have to tell you, I have twin boys who are seven years old and it was like torture for them to watch me film this and not be able to just dive in because this hot cocoa bar looks so festive and inviting. I hope you walk away with a few ideas to make your own hot cocoa station at home. And if you're new to my channel, I just wanna say a quick welcome and thanks for clicking over. I hope you consider subscribing by clicking the button below and then ringing the bell so you get notified when I post videos on YouTube. Now let's go ahead and get started. To set the stage for my hot cocoa bar, I used an inexpensive scarf I found at the Target dollar spot and then grabbed a box from our pantry to create a little bit of height for my chalkboard sign. Dollar Tree is my favorite place for grabbing little glass jars like this that are perfect for hot cocoa bars and serving coffee at parties. I use these all the time. This little square jar is perfect for putting candy canes or other snacks inside. And then they have these other jars with lids that are great for mini marshmallows or other chocolate covered candies. At the Target dollar spot, you can find a lot of cute little details like this set of letters that has ho 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 written out. You can actually use these as stickers, but I thought I would just prop them up against the box so that you don't notice the box as much and you start to see it more as decor. Now, any great hot cocoa bar needs an awesome mug. I found these at Target, and I'll show you the little mini version of this too. I just couldn't resist, it was too cute for my little family of four. But you can also find some very affordable mugs, and I'll show you where. Last year, I noticed that Dollar Tree had the most adorable little Santa mugs. Now, I saw these after I had already gotten mine at Target, but they also have a great selection this year of not just Santa mugs, but snowmen in different styles and other pattern mugs. So I highly recommend checking them out. You can also pick up some supplies. I decided to put my different size Santa mugs on a tiered tray along with a few little treats. I found the cupcake holders at Dollar Tree as well. And I think they look just perfect on this tiered tray. I also like to add some pretty serving wear. Now, I have some pieces that came from my mom that are special to me, but I think having some extra decor with your serving wear really makes the hot cocoa bar seem a little more fun and cheery for the season. Here are the plates my mom loaned me, and then I found this great jar at Dollar Tree that you can even wrap a ribbon around or leave as is, but it just adds a little pop of color to the bar. And then I added some sweet treats on another tiered cake plate. It's actually two cake plates stacked on top of each other. But when you have different layers of heights like this, it really gives you more room to showcase things. I also decided to throw in a few other little decor items like this little faux tree that I think I got at Home Goods a few years ago. And of course you may rearrange things as you add things in. There's that jar that I told you about from Dollar Tree. Now my favorite part about setting up a station like this is making a few little homemade treats. You just take some giant marshmallows and these fun straws and grab yourself some of this chocolate that you can heat in the microwave. It just takes a couple of minutes to heat it up. And then you can coat anything like pretzels or in this case marshmallows and add a few sprinkles. And these little touches I think really make the hot cocoa bar stand out. Now I decided to use some red and white sprinkles and cinnamon and some chocolate sprinkles to decorate these marshmallows, but I would not suggest eating these marshmallows on their own. I think they work best when you just put them in your hot chocolate because they are a little sugary sweet. When you make these, they are a little top heavy, so I used a mug just to stand them up as I was working with them. As another snack, I found these great silicone molds at Michael's and they had Christmas trees and these cute nutcrackers. So I decided to use some of that same chocolate that I used for the marshmallows to dye it red and then fill these in so I'd have little nutcrackers as part of my hot cocoa bar. Bye. 
By the way, these straws are great for lots of different holidays. I've used them for the 4th of July here in the US. I've used them for Valentine's Day. So I will link them below in the description box. After chilling these guys in the fridge for a couple of hours, they're ready to become part of my hot cocoa bar. And I think they look just so cute and add a nice touch. And then of course I have my chocolate dipped marshmallows that will also become part of the bar. And then just to give this hot cocoa bar a little extra pop, I decided to come up with a banner to hang above the station and some little labels to label the different parts of the hot cocoa bar. Now, no one really needs an explanation for what the food is on the hot cocoa bar, but I just think it adds a cute little extra touch of decor. Now I used my Silhouette Cameo machine to cut out the letters for my banner, and I'm going to put a link below to a blog post where I have a ton of free fonts for Christmas that you can download for all of your Christmas crafts this year. I just use regular Elmer's glue to glue these letters onto my black pennant banner, and you'll notice that there's a pattern on the back of these letters because I just use old scrapbook paper that I don't plan on using and flip it over to get the white side. And so that's how I cut out these letters. So there's a little hack for you. If you have lots of scrapbook paper that you need to use, it works great for white lettering. To tie my whole banner together, I used Baker's Twine, which you can find at Dollar Tree or any other craft store. It's a really great thing to have on hand for Christmas crafting, and I plan to do a lot more projects with it. So I would pick up red and white at least, and I also bought a three pack that had green and white as well. It's really a cute way to add a little festive touch. Now I decided to hang my banner on this mirror that I have above my hot cocoa area. And I love these pennant banners because it's really easy to slide the letters around. And you might remember when I did my burlap wreath that I used kind of a similar pennant banner style. So I love to repurpose the same patterns from multiple different crafts. And I think this turned out looking so cute, almost like chalkboard letters on the front of these black pennants. If you guys are interested in getting this banner, let me know in the comments below because I am thinking about making it a free printable to my newsletter subscribers. To match the banner, I also decided to use my Silhouette Cameo machine to print out these cute labels. You can actually draw and cut on the machine, same with Cricut. So I printed off these little labels just to add to my little scene here. And these little houses that I found at Target were just perfect for sliding in my little signs. I think they just look so adorable like a little Christmas village. Speaking of Christmas villages, I will be soon sharing a tutorial on how I made the most adorable little mini wooden houses that you can use for all sorts of crafts. So stay tuned for that in the coming weeks. I couldn't let you go without telling you about my absolute favorite hot chocolate. If you've never tried this, you should check it out. You'll probably burn your tongue on the first sip like I do every year, but it's so worth it. So I love how this came together. Of course, you can always mix and match. You can use paper goods instead of nice plates like I borrowed from my mom, but there are so many ways to customize this. I hope I gave you some ideas of the possibilities, but I would love to know in the comments what you think and what you like the most.
Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, I always appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. And I'd love to know if there's a part of this hot cocoa bar that you plan to try in your home this year, so leave me a comment below and let me know. I have a lot of fun things planned for this season, including some farmhouse decor and some handmade gifts. So I hope you'll stick around and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.